If you ain't flipping, you flipping. Reezy resells. Follow the hustle. What's up, guys? On my way to the land of Frost, Killer Frostville, Cold Land, aka Canada. But check this out. There's nobody in security. All of security is empty. I'm gonna try to send my camera bag through without taking any of the electronics out. Let's see what happens. There's a lot of electronics in there, including a laptop. That's mine. It's got a lot of electronics in there. We have found out can I take pictures. Okay, cool. I didn't know Did that. Did you take a picture? No, I didn't. You recorded? Yeah. It's live. You're I didn't. I'm not recording anything. This so is you're live. you're recording something that's illegal? I'm not. It, where does it say that I can't? Like where does it say that I can't record? You cannot. You cannot. Let me tell you right now. Okay, I'm, I trust you. I'm just saying that didn't say that I can't record anything. You cannot record. All right, Let me cool. tell you. Put that phone down. Yeah. Put this out of your pocket. I don't want to see that phone. I had no idea whether that was legal or not. All I know is that look cool so i wanted to show you guys they have no signs that say you can't record this or you can't be live on your phone like i don't believe him when he said no one ever was live on their phone through the checkout that makes zero sense to me i don't get a lot of encounters with authority anymore now that i'm like an adult but that was kind of fun what's up guys i'm boarding my flight to atlanta after that we're connecting and then we are heading to canada for the first time ever of me going to Canada. I'll be speaking at the Great North Ecom Conference. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna be showcasing some cool Canadian stuff in Toronto, in Mississauga, Ontario. I've never been to Canada, so I don't really know what to expect. I know it's really, really cold. So if you wanna see me freeze to death, stay tuned. I'm in Canada! I just got picked up by Josh, Josh Profits. What's up, guys? If you guys don't follow Josh YouTube, check it out. I'll put a link down there in the description. Follow him on Instagram. He's killing it in the great white north. Thanks, man. Welcome <laughs> to Canada. Woo! I'm gonna grab some coffee real quick. But we're at Tim Hortons, which I guess is classic Canadian staple. I think it's like the Canadian version of Dunkin' Donuts. I like donuts. I like coffee. Okay, I'm about to buy Reezy's first Canadian coffee. Got the Toonie and the Lunia. <laughs> the Toonie and the, that's enough for two coffees? Nah, uh, yeah, yeah, it should be. Two coffees, it's about a buck fifty. We got Jack, son. It's made out of two kinds of metal. That's so crazy. It started raining and it's a lot colder when it's raining. Or at least it feels way colder. I think it's gonna be at least like 10 degrees colder right now. Let's see if this thing has a temperature. Check it out, it does. Ran into the Amsterdam Brew Pub. I'm here with Toonie Flip. And Josh Prophet. And we're not hustling. We're gonna go chill. We're on the water right now. There's ice on the water, guys. Lake Ontario, man. This is Lake Ontario, yeah? Yep. Oh, there are people like ice skating right here? Yeah. That's Lake Ontario. It's freezing cold. I fully blew it, guys. I decided to rock this hat just, you know, to rep the town. I should have wore the toque and I should have brought the big jacket. I'm making bad decisions already. Unfortunately, it's raining, so I can't fly the drone today. Everyone's down at the bar. I'm just relaxing for a second. I'm gonna go back down to the bar, and then we're gonna go out to the VIP dinner. Let's go. Oh, it's bedtime, guys. It's on day two. 
The vlog just got a lot sexier. It's gonna look good. If you ain't We're at the VIP dinner, mad buffet. I'm supposed to be on a diet, guys. What do you do when you're on a diet and you came to the buffet? No, it's a trap. We out here doing it real, 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 real big. Getting that chocolate from the third story, you feel me? And the second story, and the first story, you feel me? Check it out, guys. Just don't tell my wife, because it's cheat day and I am putting in all the cheat codes. Look at all of that. And I got a Hennessy right there. Thanks, Dang. All right, guys, the buffet is over. Don't tell Rosa, it's definitely cheat day. I ate at least six kinds of pie. It's the elusive beaver. You can drink it? Yeah, I got a Ryan to drink Freezy Resales reporting live from super cold Canada. If you like warm tropical weather, don't ever come to Canada. We're getting into an Uber like sardines. Beaver sandwich. It's a beaver sandwich. They're looking through the eye thing right now. Fuck you. <laughs> How did I know the password? Uh, password? Cheese curds. Look at this. Did you try one yet? Tyler went to RA run. <laughs> Got all beer. Bro, you can't send beer to FBA. <laughs> Is that why you're trying to make FBA great again? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's SFP. <laughs> Seller fulfilled prime. <laughs> Don't drink in prime, guys. Don't drink in prime. Please do. What's up, guys? Day one of the conference is over. So I did pretty good on my speech. I freestyled it like I always do. I wrote some notes before I went up on stage. I told my story about my past. Um, I talked about how I came up in Amazon, and I dropped a ton of knowledge about personal branding, why you need one, how you can make one, what you should make it around, and I gave relative examples from people that were actually in the crowd. So if you're watching this and you were there at the talk, please leave a comment down below letting me know what was your favorite part. Shout out to my dealer for the night. Thank you, boss. What's up, guys? It's day two of the conference. So it's the third day that I've been here. Uh, I'm a little late, I'm the first speaker. I have to grab an Uber and head over there. So today was pretty awesome. Listening to Michelle Romanow's speech and a bunch of other sellers really killed it with their speeches. There was a $10 million seller and he was just talking about all his strategies for managing employees and all the way they manage their operations and just how they keep everything in order. And I was really sick. Before the night ends, I wanna let you know about how the conference went and the things that I learned and what you can expect from a conference when you go to a conference. First off, it was really good. Shout out to Dang and Dixon. If you're watching this and you're Canadian, go join their Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks guys. The most important thing that I learned came from just talk over eating at a table with other sellers and just talking to other sellers and learning their business models. Of course, networking and creating relations with other sellers. That is always the most valuable part of conferences. It's not the speakers, that's a bonus, right? The main value is in the networking and the lifelong relationships that you can make. I met some private label sellers doing 10 million a year. 3 million a year. I met people that have several multi-million dollar business ideas that are different from mine. And those people all respect me and are willing to help me with my journey. So I'm going to learn from them. And guess what? They want to learn about Instagram and personal branding and how they should do YouTube and social media and stuff. And I'm going to help them. So we now have a mutually beneficial relationship. And that is very key to growing as an entrepreneur and then going to the next level. For example, I didn't start selling shoes till I started doing Reezy resales and I started meeting other entrepreneurs, gaining their respect and learning about different business models that they freely shared with me because they respected me. 
So that is very important. Your network is your net worth. I know it sounds super cliche, but it is super true. Do not forget that, guys. If you go to a networking event, go to the bar. I don't care if you don't drink. Drink water and pretend it's vodka. Something. You need to be where the socialization is at. If you go to a conference and then there's an open networking hour or an open bar and you go to your room after that, you played yourself. You are there to meet people in any business or any niche or any field or whatever. The networking is the biggest thing. So make sure when you're at these conferences or meetups that you're increasing the amount of people that you know and adding value to those relationships. That is the most important thing and that is what I learned from this conference. Make relationships. Also learned some pretty cool stuff about Facebook Pixel which I'll share with you guys in another video. If you guys wanna make more money, quit your nine to five, and live the life that you've always wanted, remember to subscribe to my channel and press the bell so you get alerts. If you like this video, gently slide your mouse cursor over the like button. If you feel in your head like you should click it, then click it, and I'll appreciate that. If you wanna be a super duper homie, share the video on Facebook or on Twitter or anywhere else you can share the link. And until the next one, guys, if you ain't flipping, you slipping. Peace.